All right, let's call the June 28th Architecture Review Board meeting to order. Steve, if you could please run through the roll for attendance. Bob Heimerl. Joel Clark. Present. Marcus Salvaglio. Present. Dick Lindy. Here. Jerry Jones. Present. Pam Langen. Pam Langen. Charlie Wig. Charlie Wig. Looks like we got five and that's a quorum. So we have a quorum. Thank you very much. If everyone would please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And do any of our board members have potential conflicts of interest with today's application? Hearing none, I'll move to item 2.1, the approval of the minutes from June 14th. Move to approve the minutes of our last meeting. Second. Motion and a second. Thanks, Jerry. Any further discussion? Hearing none, let's just do a voice vote. So all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed. All right. Thanks, everyone. That brings us to item 3.1 the proposed exterior remodel with minor additions for the new Cousins Restaurant at 2108 North Avenue. Uh, if the applicant could please come to the podium uh, so that can be televised and we can all hear what's going on and we've got a, a member on the phone. So if you can introduce yourself, give us a brief description of what was uh, submitted, the, it was a change to the submittal, give us some background on what changed and why. Good afternoon, my name is Nathan with Patera. I'm the project architect. The project under review today is, a, is the old uh, check cashing store. It currently sits vacant. It's a single occupant, roughly 1,800 square foot tenant building. Exterior facade is mostly, um, it's all EFAS right now in a stucco. We're looking to upgrade the facade, give it a facelift, change some materials, kind of um, give it a little more curb appeal looking to convert it to a cousin's restaurant. We're looking to do a complete interior gut, um, reconfigure spaces, add on a vestibule on the east side, redo um, some minor parking lot restriping, some minor uh, connections to an adjacent, uh, adjacent lot to the west, and uh, exterior cosmetic upgrades. you just talk a little bit about the um, remodel project, the exterior materials and specifics on the elevations? So the ex current exterior, it's an EFIS facade. Uh, it's falling apart, getting deteriorated. So we're looking to restore the anything that's, that's not watertight currently. We're looking to add full height glass. So the current windows that you see on the front, on the south side and on the east and west south sides, they're currently window sills are about three feet off the floor. We're looking to extend those full high glass all the way to the floor, get a little bit more open air feeling, a little bit more inviting space. Those windows are gonna be wrapped in uh, restored EFIS. And the dark color you see on the south side. Up above it is gonna be a new porcelain tile cornice. I brought material samples of that I can show you. The On the east side, you're looking at a about a five by eight vestibule addition that's gonna be wrapped in an architectural metal, kind of a corrugated metal panel. And then the remaining building on the north side, the upper half of the building is existing EFIS, gonna be painted, um, restored if it's damaged from water or whatnot. And then the bottom half, is it's all deteriorated, so it's gonna be restored, repainted EFIS, different color. We initially submitted drawings, which you're, you're seeing on your screen now, the south side, we are showing, this is the correct facade, what we want to submit. So do you want this one up right now? Exactly. Okay. It, this is the one we'd like to, we're pursuing approval of today. This one has the existing windows, um, existing lintels, existing structure. We made them full height, made the windows go to the floor. So we don't have to redo 
um, you know, structural lintel headers, whatnot, to reframe this. Once we started to begin uh, exploratory demolition inside the space, we found the, the construction of the building is kind of a pre-engineered metal building. So it, the existing metal panels that are uh, currently holding the, the wall up are somewhat significant for structural reasons. So to add windows where there currently is not windows would undergo relatively significant structural changes. So we're trying not to do that. So we're looking to restore any existing window is gonna be a replace window, full height, new window frames, new glazing. And the exception is the window of the vestibule on the east would be a new, a new opening we would engineer out. Yeah, the elevation was much nicer with those windows in there. Uh, have you thought about other options for what could happen on that south facade just to break up that large black EFAS area? Uh, change of paint color could be another option similar to what we did on the east and west and the north sides is similar. We have, it's hard to see, but there's a, there's a base that's the darker blackish painted EFAS. You kind of see above the white car in that rendering on the right side there. And then up above is painted white EFAS. You're thinking run that band through that front portion as well? It could be an option. Okay. We're proposing the solid black that kind of go, goes with the current cousins um, color schemes. But if that would help make things more acceptable, we'd be willing to, to, to do some different paint colors. So thoughts from the, the board, any comments either on that or other parts of the building? Other than that it's obviously a huge improvement to what's there. So thank you very much for that. Thank you. <laughs> Is everybody familiar with what they're proposing on that front elevation then? It's just the, the initial one came in with the windows on the south end and now the proposed one they're showing um, just the uh, EFIS. even put smaller windows in? I mean, is any type of window even an option? Really, once you put any window, it's that structural change that we're really trying to avoid to make this thing more feasible for the client. Correct. Yeah, all the dark is all EFIS, even that center tower with the cousin's um, signage on it, same material. I guess when I first saw this, I, it struck me that the front is dark and the back is white. Um, just wondered what the rationale of that is. Uh, it's kind of going with the standard cousin's color palette oh, is, is really the reasoning okay. right now. <clears throat> It helps having that bottom band. I didn't notice that right away on the east side there in the back. It's hard to see in the rendering also on the south side. There is an awning above that, that center bank of uh, replaced doors and windows. It sticks out about a foot. It's a, it's a painted black metal awning, mm -hmm. a pre-finished black metal awning. Very similar to the same awning you see on the right side of that um, 3D rendering above the entry vestibule door. So one other item, I'm, if, if you mentioned it, I missed it in your presentation, but the, uh, the cooler enclosure, the very back, is the corrugated material? Correct, the same material we're wrapping that vestibule with is gonna be wrapping the, the cooler addition. Yeah, it's a nice tie-in for that, so it's not a standalone. There's one other minor point in the, the rendering. I was noticing the, the car on the east side by the window to the vestibule. It was awfully close. Didn't know if you were going to put in at least wheel stops or some sort of treatment on uh, the The rendering to... doesn't show it. The architectural plan does. There, there will be pipe uh, bollards, bollards right in there. front of that vestibule. Okay. It should be shown on your architectural floor plan. It might be on the site plan here. I don't know if that's is that what we're seeing here. No. no. I don't think they're showing on that. Gotcha.
So it looks like there's a sidewalk and stuff in between there. Not right at the vestibule. The vestibule projects out the oh, depth yep, of yeah. the sidewalk. Okay. All right. Yep. So okay. Go back. Go forward a couple pages to sheet A101. It shows up on the architectural floor plan. Um, there it is. So the, the right there. If you zoom in on that, you can see three bollards on the right above Sheboygan. It says. For those of us without a lot of architectural background, a bollard is a metal pipe filled with concrete? Absolutely correct. Thank yeah. you. Okay. Yep. Thanks. Thanks, Marcus. Anytime we throw out stuff that doesn't make sense to you, please flag it because we've got other people listening in too. So. Last year, EFIS was the thing, and now <laughs> bollard. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it just seems something with like that window area, I just, I don't know. Yeah, the first thing that came to mind for me for that south facade was even something similar to what Taco Bell used to do with sort of the panels, and they just had a graphic in there. Um, just something that would break up that fairly monolithic black look on the front. Yeah, are they still using the, uh, the sub guy, little mascot? Would would he fit well into one of these spaces or both? Well, and I think and I think <laughs> they when we looked at the cousins on the south side, I think they were doing utilizing that as one of their wall panels on their drive through. So that was something that they looked at. Hmm. I don't know if that's the right spot, but yeah, I think personally, I'd like to see something on there, whether it's more branding or signage or just some sort of panel to break it up a little. Um, the option to go with the stripe, uh, I can see that maybe doesn't fit with the, the direction the corporate is looking for and it maybe gets a little bit too sandwichy for the building. <laughs> um, yeah. Any other thoughts on your end, Nathan? I mean, I mean, just uh we could easily do something, you know, in a scored EFIS pattern, but I don't think it's going to get the, the pop that you guys are really talking about here. I think we'd be open to some kind of something with signage if you guys were, would be open to that. Yeah, I guess it would depend on A, still meeting the signage ordinance, uh, and B, as long as it doesn't get tacky looking and make it worse than just the blank facade. Right. Um, but it does seem like an opportunity to dress up the facade a little more and maybe get some, some additional marketing out of it. So. Yeah, we'd be open to that for sure. I don't know if it's something that, you know, if the board wanted, they could approve as is, encourage that, work with staff. If staff has any issues, I could always maybe get some input. I don't know, that's a potential direction that could be considered. I didn't see anything else on the project that was jumping out at me as a concern, so I would be open to that option if the rest of the board is so inclined. I would make a motion to approve as presented uh, with any additional changes being brought to staff. Do you, should I be more clear? Is there a recommended change or is it just approved Ooh. as submitted with potential changes coming in? Um, no, I, I think we need to recommend a change to add some sort of thing over the black facade pieces. So the basic project would be approved as presented with some minor revisions to the south elevation to be brought back for staff approval. That is exactly what I'm trying yes. to say. Thank you. I thought it was. <laughs> yes. If everyone is clear on that, do we have a second? Second. Jerry beat you to it, Dick. Any further discussion? And are we all clear on what the motion is then? All right, sounds as if we are set. Steve, if you could call the roll, please. Sure, Bob Heinroll. Aye. Joe Clark. Aye. Marcus Savaglio. Aye. Dick Lindy. Aye. Jerry Jones. Aye. Excellent, we uh, opposed? No, it was not be in your thing, never yeah. mind. Uh, so that passes. 
Thank you very much. Thank you. So I guess with that, then Nathan and I would work with one another and see what we can do there in, in terms of that. Uh, I guess there's some ideas that you've heard and just uh, we can go back and forth and probably do it administratively. If I would have any questions, then I'd have to bring it back. But um, but I, I think you heard that we're just interested in a little bit in that section. So Sure. We'll email you some options and yeah, Sounds good. we'll go forward from there. Great. Excellent. Thank All you. All right. Thank we'll you very much. We'll see you tomorrow then. And Steve, we've got a next meeting on July 12th. Yep. We'll have a meeting on July 12th. Perfect. Any other business, anything from uh, the board to discuss? If not, I would entertain a motion for adjournment. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Thanks, Jerry. We, we are adjourned. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. All right. <laughs>